<laughs> what is happening? Clee! We haven't seen you in forever! I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't that long ago. Oh, it's Mr. Honorary Knight and Paimon! So. I was just about to go find you two! Why are you crying? I got a terrible, terrible letter and need to go to a certain place! And what kind of place is it? A terrible letter? Yes! From a person that won't acknowledge that Klee and Do the core family. They even said they want to test Klee and have Klee go to Dodo Land, but. but. Who the heck is Dodo go? There's no need to rush! Slow down! Yeah. A very bad, bad, bad guy! He's called Dodo King. Who's Dodo King? I'm very confused. Paimon also hasn't heard of him? I don't think anyone has Klee. Nope. Wait, why did you say also? Because even Klee has never heard of him. Wait, what? Ah, <laughs> uh, he's probably just some weirdo. Yeah, probably. I went to go find Albedo, but he's not home, so I thought of you. Oh, okay. Let me read you the letter that Dodo King wrote. <clears throat> Wicked girl of flame, I am of the Dodo clan. Uh, Klee can't read this part. In the name of Dodo King, you are not qualified to become Dodoko's new family. <laughs> Unless you bring Dodoko to the Golden Apple Archipelago, light for, uh, accept the, um, I don't know some of these words. Yeah, that's okay. Let Paimon have a look. Are you gonna give it to me at some point? This word is Overlord, which means he's the most powerful guy around, and what he says goes. This part reads, Light four beacons and knock upon the trialist king. I'm pretty sure we could kick his hmm. butt pretty quick. Probably to accept some kind of challenge. What kind of challenge? The last word is Arbitrate, which, uh... Uh, which means he wants to judge you. Hmm. Arba, um, Arba, tree. Uh, good job. It's nothing good anyway. He'll judge and criticize you while pretending to be the good guy. How could this be? Dodoko is my bestest friend, so I'll never give Dodoko to him. But he said he's the strongest of the Dodo clan. Hmm. Could the Dodo clan be Dodoko's family? Who the heck is Dodoko? From the names, it seems like it. But Klee, where is this Golden Apple Archipelago? And where is this Dodoko? I don't know. What? What? What is this? This is also the first time Klee has heard of the Golden Apple Archipelago. Golden Apple Archipelago. Hmm. It's probably an island with lots of apples. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, the only things written on the letter were what Klee just read out to us. And there's no signature. Klee, did this letter come with an envelope? Nope. Wait, what? I don't know. It suddenly appeared on my room's windowsill. That's, that's kind of creepy. Dodo King? Dodo Clan? If Paimon remembers correctly, Dodoko is the toy hanging on Klee's backpack, right? No, Dodoko is my bestest friend, not some toy. Where is Dodoko? Oh, right. What a magical creature Dodoko is. Uh, but all this sudden talk about family and whatnot is pretty strange. It feels like it might be a prank. Uh, well, I don't know if it's necessarily a prank, but it's definitely, like, not real. <laughs> Prank, then we should ignore it. No, no way! I'll never admit defeat. I have to go there. I mean, a new place to explore, right? Why not? But we've never even heard of such a place. Mr. Honorary Knight, you know what to do, right? Clee believes in you. Oh, thank you, I guess. Even if we did know what to do... Uh, I'm begging you, please, please help me. Fine. My mom feels like if we don't agree to help, she'll go off on her own. That'd be dangerous. 
she is a pyromaniac. I don't think she'll be... <laughs> I don't think we should be that worried, to be honest. Rather than letting Clay go adventuring off by herself, it'd be better if we accompany her. Oh, please! Please! Is it pyromaniac or pyrotechnic? I think it's pyrotechnic for explosives. Uh, uh I'll help you. Uh, how can we say no after seeing you try so hard? But since we're going together, you need to be well behaved and not run off by yourself. Okay. As per usual, let's start by asking around for some info. Let's walk around the city and ask some people who might know something about the situation. Mm. Cyrus, we want to ask you about a place. You'll know it, won't you? Won't you? Don't say that before we've even asked him. <laughs> oh? <laughs> the little adventurer looks troubled. Have you all encountered some sort of problem? Uh, you could say that. Basically, we want to find a certain archipelago, but it seems no one's ever even heard of it. So we came here to ask you, a seasoned adventurer. <laughs> <laughs> if you seek unknown lands or adventuring knowledge, then you've come to the right man. Somehow I, I still feel like you won't have any idea where it is. What kind of archipelago are you all looking for? I think it's Golden Apple or something. It has lots of small islands on the sea. But <laughs> lots of archipelagos have that clear. It's called the Golden Apple Archipelago. Golden Apple Archipelago. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> You're all amazing. Yep. You've managed to find a place that even I, the great Cyrus, haven't heard of. I mean, at least he's honest. What? Even you don't know of it? Indeed, indeed. The land of Tevat is immense. No person can walk its entire breadth. But do not fear, dear friends. You must have the courage to venture into the unknown. So no one knows where this is? <laughs> Could it be that these islands don't exist? <laughs> uh, come now, <laughs> don't be like that. Oh, how can this be? <sighs> oh, Dodoko. Marjorie here might have heard some strange things. After all, souvenirs do come in all shapes and sizes from a variety of places. Strange things? What do you mean? Do you know about the Golden Apple Archipelago? It's made up of lots of small islands and located somewhere in the sea. <laughs> Aren't all archipelagos made of small islands and situated at sea? No, not at all. That's right. Oh, uh, right. Uh, then let Paimon ask a different question. Are there archipelagos in Mondstadt? Not as far as I know. You've seen a map of Mondstadt, haven't you? All known islands are already charted, so check it out. There's not really mo not any islands other than Mondstadt city itself. Generally speaking, maps will faithfully record the land's topography. For most people, if it's not on a map, it doesn't exist. Well, uh, clearly that's not true because the Americas. Mondstadt's map doesn't show any, so that must mean there are none. A place that doesn't exist? Uh, sounds about right. <laughs> oh, how could that be? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Pima meant that we should go find other people to ask. Mr. Huffman, do you know about the Golden Apple Archipelago? It's on the sea. A Golden Apple Archipelago on the sea? Uh... uh I'll take that as a no. This is the first I've heard of it. Yep. Are the islands that grow many apples? So you also don't know? Well, given that husband's always just patrolling the city... <sighs> I do apologize. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> huh? Really? Uh, let's go ask someone else. <laughs> Happy Spring Nation of Liyue. Looks like the people of Mondstadt don't know anything about the place in this letter. Yeah, it feels, feels more made Clay, up. is there anyone 
you can think of that you don't get along with? Would there be anyone who'd write a letter to scare you? No, I love everyone very much, and everyone loves Glee very much. Hmm, Paimon thinks so too. I mean, you do blow up stuff, kid. Somebody could have a grudge. So it can't be a prank. Eh, eh, why, why is my only options the same thing? I'm, I'm going to go with this one because some people might... Because it wouldn't be a prank. It would be something devious. It's not a prank. Yet no one knows where these islands are. Ugh, this is getting more and more confusing. Knowledgeable. Oh, right! We should ask Lisa about this kind of thing. She's at the library every day and has probably read every book in Mondstadt. Do you think she knows anything? Oh, Miss Lisa! Let's go to the library! Why is my head down? Like, so far. It's like it's like he's gonna break his neck. Lisa! What's up? Oh, well, if it isn't Cutie, Paimon, and Klee... What brings you to the library all of a sudden? Will you ever change your nickname for me? Miss Lisa, can you help Klee find an arch uh, archipelago? An archipelago? Yes, it's a group of islands. Dodo King told Klee to go to the Golden Apple Archipelago so he can challenge Klee. Don't worry, Klee. Let Paimon explain. I think Lisa gets it. Lisa, it's like this. Oh. Oh, I guess not. I guess Lisa didn't know. Let me get this straight. To determine if Klee is worthy of becoming Dodoko's family, the ruler of the Dodo clan, Dodo King, wrote a letter to Klee summoning her to this Golden Apple Archipelago to be judged? I don't think he's real. Does that sum it up? Yes. Yes, I have to go! No, you don't. And you, cuties, sought me out to mm. help Klee find the location of this Golden Apple Archipelago, correct? I really wouldn't say that. I, we, we, you're just the last resort because no one else is doing anything. <laughs> How sweet of oh, you to say. Up. Then I have no choice but to assist you in earnest. Mm. Klee, can you show me that letter? Okay. Hmm. Though there's little information written upon the letter, have you all tried any other methods? What do you mean? Other methods? Like, sight? I don't know. The letter contains faint elemental traces oh. that seem more like a hint than anything else. Yeah, I didn't try that. Maybe try using your elemental sight. All right. Why didn't we think of that? Because we're Let's not, like, smart. <laughs> Intense stare. Did you find anything? Uh, I guess, Most apparently. Most of the content on the reverse page was applied via elemental power. What an interesting approach. Whatever. Whatever, Here's Lisa. Cutie, Stop. can I trouble you to copy down what you see with your elemental sight? Mm. I don't know what I saw. Done! Oh, look at an archipelago. It's a thing. The information on the reverse page is now clear. This drawing is likely of the Golden Apple Archipelago you've been looking for. Yeah, that doesn't really help us though. Where is it? A ton of small islands floating by themselves in the water without being anchored to any land. It's almost like they popped up from the seabed. Wait, what? <laughs> like they appeared out of thin air. That's strange. Hmm. Paimon, you might be right. Wait, do you mean they're only going to be there for a limited time, and then we'll disappear afterwards? I don't understand what you mean. I've read every single book within this library's walls. Similar islands have been mentioned in some of them. Hmm. A mysterious archipelago enveloped by storms and dense fog, belonging to no nation. That which is outside cannot enter, nor can anything inside leave. Only those who are chosen may enter its territory. Hmm. Many years ago, a fleet from Mondstadt encountered some islands at sea. Reportedly, there were torrential rains and howling winds. The sailors could hardly discern land through the thick fog. Weird. The islands weren't far, but no matter how much they sailed, they never grew closer. At least you the sailors know about were initially this. confused, but then became terrified, as they believed they were hallucinating. Oh. Whoa! Talk about mysterious and creepy! I guess they're not shrouded in fog anymore. Unfortunately, the books do not record the location oh, wow. of these islands. 
I'm afraid that if you want more information, you'll have to find someone more knowledgeable than I. Who is more knowledgeable than the person that has access to all the books and reads them all the time? Aw, and Paimon thought Lisa would be the expert on this kind of thing. Yeah, come on, Lisa. I am but a librarian who prefers to stay inside with her books. Exactly. Clee, do you really want to go to those islands? It might be a very scary place. I vote no. Yes, I want to go. Why? <laughs> My, how brave. Far be it from me to scare a child. But Clee, you really should take someone with you, just in case. Someone reliable, like my cutie over here. Why do you have to do this? Why? Like, you, you just don't have to. Like, you don't. <laughs> Clee, you're not scared? I'm scared, but not being able to be Dodoko's family is even scarier. I, I am under the impression that, you know, whoever this Dodoko is should choose their family. <laughs> that they shouldn't be told. Dodoko is very important to me. I won't lose to Dodo King. I'll need to ask for some time off so I can go to the Golden Apple Archipelago and find Dodo King. Time off? What? That's right. I'm a knight of Favonius. Master Jean told me that if Klee wants to go someplace far, then she has to ask for time off. I think that's only because you, like, explode things, and so that's why she told you that. You're going to ask for time off. Now? We still don't even know where these islands are! Also, are you really a knight of Favonius? Cutie, judging by the look on your face, you have an idea, don't you? Maybe. I have some, some good friends. It'll be up to you to get Jean's approval. I'll stay here and silently cheer for you all while enjoying a book and some tea. Cool. Not unless I drag you there with me. <laughs> Master Jean, I want to ask for some time off because I want to go somewhere. Yeah, even though we're supposed to be doing stuff. Clee? Oh, and oh, it's you're the all honorary better. knight in Paimon as well. It's been a while, everyone. How have you been? Actually, it's been like an hour. Paimon's <laughs> also here? How rare. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, uh, of course not. Sounds like Klee, I did. why are you requesting time off all of a sudden? Because it's important. Klee is going to the Golden Apple Archipelago to meet the Dodo King, or else... Or else he'll take Dodoko away. I'm pretty sure he'll only be able to take Dodoko away if we go there. Dodo King? Take Dodoko away? <laughs> He doesn't think that Klee is worthy of being part of Dodoko's family. I need to prove myself. Mr. Honorary Knight will help me, right? Yep. Traveler, Paimon, is this so? Yeah, pretty much. I've never heard of the Golden Apple Archipelago. Where is it? <laughs> Who knows? I've also never heard of it. Me either. But Miss Lisa said that someone must know. So it's a place that even Lisa doesn't know? Well, she has some ideas. I see. From what you say, it seems to be quite a mysterious place. <sighs> I sincerely apologize, but I cannot approve Knight Klee's request for time off. I will blow this place up. Huh? But why? I'm... Even if these mysterious islands do exist, oh, shut we up. cannot determine can if they are safe or the not. Whole islands. <laughs> I cannot cares? allow you to journey into a potentially dangerous place. Then come with us. But if I don't go, Dodoko will be taken away. Actually, if I, you do go, he I will be taken away. Dodoko. Oh, Klee. Moreover, how do you intend to reach the islands? Without a safe and reliable plan drawn up, I'm afraid I cannot give you my approval. Lady, nothing I do is safe. Honorary night. Why are you waking at me? Outside. Oh, uh, what? What? Can you think of a way to get to the islands? Oh, oh Vent. Yeah, that's true. Venti might know. He's, you know, a literal, you know, god. I even also thought of him just now. We're on the same wavelength as expected. Oh, I didn't think of him. The the weird chat things told me to think of him. Venti. Oh, he's a magical bard that Paimon calls Tone Deaf Bard. Well, he's not really all that magical anymore. Can he help me? Maybe. He's our friend, so he'll definitely help. <laughs> he'll probably say no then. If he's a friend of the Honorary Knights, then things will work out for sure. 
We all know how reliable the honorary knight is. Am I reliable? How about this? I'll try to persuade Master Jean. You all know she's a serious person, so I think it might take some time. Hmm. Klee, trust me, okay? I'll do everything I can to help you. Okay, I can wait. <laughs> Wonderful. Tomorrow afternoon, let's all meet at the plaza outside the cathedral. I'm sure I'll have some good news. Oh, just leave it to me. You're so dependable. Do your best, Barbara. Hmm. Oh, Jean's still here. We're all Slow here walk. Now. Oh, everyone, over here, Mr. Honorary Knight, Paimon. Yeah, I kind of, Greetings. I could see you. <laughs> Slow, dramatic walk. Yes, it's a long story. Mm, Barbara like and Lisa have both spoken to me, and there is something that I have realized. Cool. Regardless if I approve it or not, <laughs> Lee will go where she wants to anyway. This is how it has always been. Well, like, <laughs> not if you have that attitude. <laughs> she will definitely, yeah, she will definitely go where she, wherever she wants if you have that attitude. <laughs> She's laughing. We all know Clee. Rather than have her run headlong into danger, it's better to agree to her request. Are you sure? Knight Klee, your request for leave has been approved. Wow, I am so excited! Cool. However, there are conditions. Oh no. In exchange, I will be accompanying everyone to this letter's Golden Apple Archipelago. As for the Knight's affairs, I have entrusted them to Kaya. Is that a good idea? Work has been busy and I shouldn't leave, but I wouldn't be able to stop worrying about Klee. Hmm. So, please allow me to travel with you. All right. There won't be any problems if Master Jean comes with us. There still be problems. Big sis, uh, I mean, Master Jean also suggested that I come along. Barbados forbid, but I can assist if someone needs medical treatment during our journey. Why are you not allowed to call her Big Sister? She is your sister, is she not? We're so lucky to have Barbara too. Please, Barbara, Master Jean, you two are so nice. I promise I'll behave. Clee, you always say that. I hope you will abide by your words this time. Uh. <laughs> Lisa heard that I wanted to accompany everyone to the islands, so she prepared this pouch. Supposedly, opening it will reveal a new way. Hmm. New way? You mean a way to keep Clee out of trouble? Doubt it. She said not to open it until we've reached the islands. I think it might be something to use in case of an emergency. Hmm. As expected of Miss Lisa, she's been thinking of us this whole time. Anyway, our next step is to find the bard, right? I just asked the people nearby. They said that he hasn't performed at the square today and that he likely went to Windrise. Oh no, he's probably at the bar. What are we waiting for? Let's head to Windrise and find... Betty, we found you! Sure. Hmm? There's so many <laughs> people who are looking them. for me. Then I suppose it is Ow. something important. Maybe. This is the map of the islands. Ah, oh, yes. That place. <laughs> Congratulations. You found the right person. I'm just getting beat up. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> you really do know. So, now they're called the Golden <laughs> Apple Archipelago, huh? Up. They used to be known as the Har Islands. <sighs> they're located on a stretch of sea that's particularly difficult for the average person to reach. Am I the average person? Not to mention, the area has so. strong storms and thick fog year-round. Ships can hardly approach the island, let alone dock. Why do you guys wish to go there? Because it's important. I'm going there to meet Dodokun. He said he wants to test Klee to see if she's qualified to be Dodokun's family. Hmm. Are you nervous? A little, but I will not give in. Master Tone Deaf Bard, you must help us. Master Tone Deaf Bard? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I like it. I no, she is a good influence. What is? It? Why? Why do I only have this option? Is this fault? No, you're a good influence. Do not doubt yourself. Fear not. Since you wish it so, Master Tone Deaf Bard will lend a helping hand. Could you really help us? <laughs> of course. In this world, what is more pure and free than the wish of a child? I'm just sneaking up behind Venti to kill him, stab him in the back. Venti, I see you. <laughs> I see you. What a beautiful sound. Meh. Huh? 
Is the wind picking up? I don't know. Wait just a moment. He'll be here soon. Who's he? Is it uh, Oh uh, the Wallen. What's up, the Wallen? How you been? How you been since I beat the crap out of you? This is a secret between us here, so don't tell anyone else. What are the four winds? Oh, my dear poet, you have my utmost gratitude for the aid you have provided us. <laughs> the acting grandmaster sure is formal. <laughs> <laughs> what wonderful expressions you all have. <laughs> I'll see you off laugh. here. May the winds bless your travels. Oh. Oh. Devala, I'm, I'm glad there's no hard feelings between us, you know, you know. This is as far as I go. Why? It would be cumbersome for me to proceed further. Why is that? Please, exercise caution. Fine. Oh, hello. I am now in a place, doing a thing. Oh, a teleporter thing that we've now unlocked. We're here! We finally made it! Yep. Going to fight, she knows when to pull out all the stops. Suddenly letting us ride over on a dragon? Paimon almost got blown away! How did you not, though? <sighs> that was my first time riding on a dragon's back. My heart won't stop pounding. <sighs> Is everyone all right? Uh, yes, I'm fine. Big sis. Uh, Why can't you call Master her Big Sis? Just <laughs> is that Bard? You you don't need to know. Well, uh. But he's a he's an interesting person. He's a legendary Bard of exceptional musical talent who can use his lyre to call forth all manner of creatures. He's Barbados. Wow. I mean, what? Even Master Teen is pretty quick on the spot. Oh. What an impressive person. We must properly thank him when we return. Agreed. In any case, what are these islands? Islands? The weather is dreadful, the fog is thick, and visibility is low. Just like Lisa said. Mm hmm We should be extra careful. Not really. Traveler, Paimon, what else does the letter say? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, Paimon remembers. It read... Wicked girl of flame, I am of the Dodo clan as its overlord. In the name of Dodo King, you are not qualified to become Dodo Ko's new family. Unless you bring Dodo Ko to the Golden Apple Archipelago, light the four beacons, and knock upon the trialist gate to accept your challenge. Four beacons? Does that mean he wants us to find something that emits light? Quite possibly. You mention it, doesn't it this seem might be like a beacon. It's a little less foggy here than the surrounding oh, area? No, it's just a pile of rubble. Looking carefully, that indeed appears to be the case. Could the clearing of the fog be related to this device? Don't you think it looks familiar? Pretty similar to the portable waypoints we've used before. Yeah. Crafting portable waypoints requires luminescent spines, so they can also function as a source of light. So if this device here seems like it can dissipate fog, maybe it's a similar kind of device. Oh, those portable waypoints. Yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't been able to craft one of those yet, so how about you shut up, Paima? Light four beacons and knock upon the trialist gate. There's already one lit device here. It appears that we need to find the other three and light them up as well. Doesn't seem hard. Huh? What's that? What's what? Hey! Don't run off! Ugh, come on, catch up to her! It looks like something's down there! Let's take a closer look. A boat? Cool, a boat. I get a boat. Hmm. It looks as if someone has been awaiting our arrival. Are we really supposed to sail in such terrible weather? Sure. I'm afraid that appears to be the intention. Everyone, everything about these islands is a mystery. Regardless of what lies ahead, please proceed with utmost caution. 